Good Tuesday morning. This is 106.1 KYVZ. Joe Bazurik visiting once again with meteorologist Chris Shramick at Decision Weather, as well as America's Weather Streaming Channel. Chris, another warm morning and looks like a, a fairly warm afternoon once again in store for the tri-state region. Yeah, Joe, after that uh, cold snap we saw here a couple weeks ago, this is very welcomed weather here to end the month of January in 2024. We've got temperatures yesterday that crawled up there into the 60s. Today we're looking at temperatures around that 20 degrees above normal for this time of year, and they'll be topping out right there around 65. Then when we're talking about tomorrow, we've got that high pressure that's this morning centered over the Wyoming-Idaho border. It's going to start sliding to the east and southeast over the central plains this afternoon. And then tomorrow, that'll be going further south and east over Missouri, Arkansas, and eventually ending up there in the Gulf around Louisiana. What that's going to do for us is we'll turn these west winds today that are light at 5 to 10 miles per hour to a southwesterly direction tomorrow at 10 to 15. And even if we have a little bit of clouds, that southwesterly wind will push those temperatures up there to around 70 degrees. Uh, that will be record level in some of our locations that have uh, those records in the lower 70s. The Goodland and some of the other sites are in the middle 70s all the way. I think I saw an 82 so those probably won't get broken, but we could see those lower 70 records being broken here tomorrow. Um, that's going to be something because we've seen several records being broke since we started this winter. We had a uh, record warmth to start October. We had the record cold or around Halloween. And then as we went into our holiday seasons, we got snow around Thanksgiving and Christmas. But we also saw those two months being the warmest on record. And I think there was some record warm temperatures being broke early parts of those months. We'll have to take a look at that. And so we got this up and down temperature thing going on here as we move into our second half of winter and Groundhog Day. And we do have three systems lined up uh, in the Pacific to be uh, coming our way. And if we keep this Pacific air in place, we're probably going to be seeing rain. That system this weekend will develop in the four corners on Thursday. It'll move into the Colorado, Oklahoma, Texas border region Friday evening, and that'll start developing the rain over western Kansas. And we got snow developing in the foothills of Colorado there Friday night. On Saturday, as that thing slowly tracks across Oklahoma off to the east and southeast, we'll see rain wrap into it. And snow out there in the uh, higher elevations, it looks like that snow will be west of 385 on I-70 to Denver, where you could pick up two, six inches of snow. You get into those foothills and Palmer Divide, we could be talking 10, 12, and heavier amounts up there in the mountains. And that uh, Palmer Divide always gets more snow heading out towards Lyman. Uh, we have another area up on the Wyoming-Nebraska border that could have some heavier snow. And then for southwest Nebraska, northwest Kansas, and pretty much the entire state of Kansas, you're going to see moisture coming in from the Gulf. Lots of rain. You could see a half inch, three-quarter inch, an inch amounts here locally. Uh, but that rain this time of year is going to be uh, very welcome and something that could go into busting our, our prolonged drought that we've had over the area especially if these storms keep coming out of the Pacific. It looks like we'll see another one come through here low next Thursday. That one's a little quicker. We'll go through a little faster, probably a rain, snow type potential, more to the north up in Nebraska. And then we're keeping our eye on one for Super Bowl weekend. That's the one that looks like it could grab some cold air and be kind of a wintry situation where we'll have a, a winter storm on our hand. Well, sounds like a fairly active weather pattern over the next several weeks. And Chris, uh, America's Weather Streaming Channel continues to offer a uh, promotional uh, type of thing going on for a limited time. Yeah, as we head into Groundhog Day here in February, start the month, we'd like to get some folks to see what we're doing and, and how we're uh, getting this uh, these personalized weather forecasts out first thing in the morning. We'll work with you. We'll set up a time when you're getting up and heading out that door. We know you're busy. We know that there's all kinds of weather information out there. You can look at your cell phone. You could watch the TV and all that, but we'd like to get something to you, uh, right to you, whether you look at your phone, you want it on a text message, you'd rather have us call you, wake you up, or you know, get that email. Uh, we'll get that to you first day in the morning. That's uh, when we're doing our forecast, putting them together. Uh, sending them out to, to area businesses and, and our customers, and then getting them ready for our port. So we 
Uh, then we turn all of our weather forecasts into to short videos and clips and going towards that technology of having a live streaming platform and developing something that's uh, moving into the 21st century here, or further into the 20s. And, uh, and then the other thing we're trying to create our niche is other than being personalized and, and answering those questions of how, when, timing, if I'm going to get it or not get it, making those decisions, we also want to have something different that isn't a computer voice, AI generated. Uh, we still got to have that human touch to our weather to keep that to accuracy and cut out some of those errors that we see as the computers always tend to trend back towards normal. As long as we got these extremes coming like we do this winter, you're going to need your own meteorologist to cipher through that and get information to you that's correct and accurate on, on what's going on out there. Once again, that's meteorologist Chris Schramick joining us this morning from Decision Weather Now, as well as America's Weather Streaming Channel. For KYVZ, I'm Joe Bazurik.